welcome to let review March 2023 general education part 2. So disclaimer muna before we begin. So this YouTube channel does not make any warranties about completeness, reliability, and accuracy of this video reviewers. Any action you take upon, the information you find on this YouTube channel is strictly at your own risk. So the owner did personal research from different books, websites, YouTube, uh, videos, and etc. to help for aspiring LPPs. So let's study hard. Laban mga future teachers. Kayang kaya natin to. So again, just to remind everyone that all the questions here are pinagsama-sama from old and new curriculum. Para syempre, hindi natin alam kung ano lalabas sa darating na examination. Mas maganda na yung prepared tayo. Kaya dapat nating pag-aralan yung old and new curriculum. Halo-halo na. Sama-sama. So, let's begin. Anong awiting pampatulog ng bata? So, we have Diona, Uyayi, Kumintang, or Talindaw. So, let's first discuss the following choices. So, we have one, Diona. So, what is Diona? Awiting sa panahon ng pamamanhikan o sa kasal. Pag sinabi naman natin kumintang, awit ng pakikitigma o pakikipaglaban. Pag sinabi natin talindaw, awit ng pamamangka at huli o yayi or hele. So, awitin pang hele o pampatulog ng bata at tinatawag natin o tinatawag na lalabay sa English. So, mas kilala ang uyayi sa tawag na lalabay. So, again, pag sinabi natin Diona, ito ay awitin sa panahon ng pamamanhikan o sa kasal, kumintang, awitin ng pakikitigma o pakikipaglaban, ang taling daw ay awitin ng pamamangka. At syempre, sa ating tanong na anong awitin pampatulog ng bata, ang tamang sagot ay o yayi. Next, the Philippines which is made up which is made up of thousands of islands is called we have archipelago Peninsula, Gulf, or Cape? So, the correct answer is right, archipelago. So, what is archipelago? Archipelago, ayan, an area that contains a chain or group of islands scattered in lakes, river, or ocean. So, alam naman natin na ang Pilipinas ay maraming island. Napapaligiran tayo ng island. Diba nga? Merong merha, um, Merong ilang islands sa Pilipinas? Naku! Hmm, tinatanong yan sa let exam, kaya dapat ay alam niyo. So, next. Oh, ito naman. An ano ang isang uri ng awit pamamangka? O, oh, ayan. Napag na baan, nasa unang tanong natin yan. Choices? Yona, Uyayi, Kumintang, or Talindaw? Ano daw ang uri? Or ano ang isang uwi ng awit yung pamangka? Yan ay talindaw. So, ang tamang sagot dyan ay talindaw, hindi kumintang. Hindi ko alam kung bakit nandiyan yung sun. Pero ang tamang sagot dyan ay talindaw. Awitin ng pamamangka. So, next. The ordering of things according to the importance a person attaches to them known as... So, we have religious hierarchy. Hierarchy of needs, values hierarchy. So, alin kaya dyan? Marika natin. So, yan tatlong yan. Ano ba yung mga yan? Pag sinabi natin na religious hierarchy, ayan. So, may refers to hierarchical organization or hierarchical structure as applied to or orga organization, including some religions. So, religions, stratification. Stratification, stratification, sorry, stratification. The stratification of society based on religious belief or other faith-based consideration. So, pag sinabi lang, um, from the word itself, religious. So, we have next is the hierarchy of needs. So, that is the Maslow 
hierarchy of needs. So, alam na alam natin yan. Ha? Tatandaan ninyo na pag nabasa ninyo ang hierarchy of needs, kailangan ang pumasok sa inyo ay si Maslow agad. So, sino nga ba or ano nga ba ang hier uh, Maslow hierarchy of needs? So, there are levels in Maslow pyramid of needs. So, from the bottom, sa baba, pataas. So, we have psychological, <clears throat> which is food and clothing. Safety, so that's job security. Love and belongingness, so that's friendship, your family, esteem, and self-actualization. So, last one is the values hierarchy. So, it refers to an ordered list of social values that influence judicial decision-making. So, sa question natin that the ordering of things, ordering pa lang, the word natin, of things according to the importance a person attaches to them, known as, that is hierarchy of needs. So, yung, um, ang tatandaan ninyo, so once na nabasa nyo yung importance ng tao or human needs, so yun, dapat alam nyo na agad na hierarchy of needs yun. Next, so what is concern about high and low in voice and uh, voice and quality? So again, what is the concern about high and low in voice and quality? So we have here timbre, tone, pitch. So basahin muna natin ang pitch. So pag sinabi natin pitch, it is the quality that makes it possible to judge sounds as higher and lower. So, nakita nyo, high and low, higher and lower. So, of course, the correct answer is pitch. Next. So, what biome do the Philippines belong to? So, to what biome do the Philippines belong to? So, we have here tropical rainforest, tundra, Grassland. So, alin dito? Sa tatlong ito. Hmm? So, let's first um, answer what is biome. Ano nga ba yun? So, a biome is a bio, bio geographical unit consisting of a biological community that has form in response to the physical environment in which they are found in shared regional climate or mas kilala bilang habitat. So, to what biome do the Philippines belong to? So, saan daw? Siyempre, yan ay sa tropical rainforest. Next, the point of the Earth's orbit nearest the sun. So, the four are the point of Earth's Orbit nearest the sun. So, atin nyo nang discuss ang choices. We have here Solstice, um, Eclipse, Aquilion, Periclion. So, pag sinabi natin Solstice, so, so um, the time or date, so twice a year, at which the sun reaches its maximum or minimum declination, Marked by the longest and shortest day. So that is June 21 and December 22. So about June 21 and December 22. Next, for example, sinabit mo natin eclipse, the total or partial obscuring of one celestial body by another. Uh, by other. No, nga, by another nga. Next, pag sinabi natin a fillion, the point in the orbit of a planet, asteroid or comet, at which is Farthest, farthest from the sun. And periphery the point in the orbit of planet, asteroid, or comet, which is closest to the sun. So, pag sinabi natin letter A, tatandaan nyo lang yung time or date, o kaya yung maximum or minimum declination. Para, alam nyo yun, pag nabasa nyo na agad itong tanong na to, nakita nyo na agad yung question, o kaya kahit iba yung question, Pero ito yung mga choices. Alam niyo yung ibig sabihin. Pag alam niyo naman ibig sabihin ng eclipse. So ngayon, pag sinabi natin up, up till yun, isipin niyo na lang for this. Pag sinabi natin purple yun, ah, ito yung process. So, Earth's orbit nearest. 
So, ang tamang sagot ay letter D. Next. What does the word monsoon mean? So, we have hey, uh, we have here A. Moon will come soon. <laughs> Pinangap-pinap para, para siya piniikling monsoon. Moon will come soon. Next. Atmosphere. Next, we have here season. And we have here climate. So, alin nga ba? Right. The correct answer is season. So, alam ko naman na you're very familiar in monsoon. So, pag sinabi natin monsoon, ang ibig sabihin niyan ay season. Next. It occurs when the earth is between the sun and the moon with the earth's shadow cast over the moon. So, we have here total eclipse, lunar eclipse, eclipse, or partial eclipse. Eclipse. So, pag sinabi natin, ha, it occurs when the earth is between, between the sun and the moon. So, pag nagkaroon siya ng line up yan, tatlong yan, pag nag line up yan, anong tawag doon? Tawag doon ay lunar eclipse. Next, what has solved the caste and the social strata system in the Philippine society. Again, what has solved the caste and social strata system in the Philippines? So we have here school in every barangay, barangay empowerment, school for the handicap, barangay high, school open. So adin kaya dito? Yan, so barangay empowerment. So, ano nga ba yung tinat... Ah, sorry. Balikan natin. So, ano nga ba yung tinatawag nating social strata or sabihin na natin social stratification? Pag sinabi natin social stratification, from its word social, so society categorization. So, society categorization of its people into group based on socioeconomic factors. So, like wealth, income, race, education, gender, occupational, yan, social status, or kung meron kang power sa community nyo. So, in short, ito yung difference, uh, differentiation ng population ninyo. Kaya, mer kaya tamang sakot dito is barangay empowerment kasi um, uh, caste and social Trata system in the Philippines. So next, we have here si Mario Ponce ay propagandistang may sagisag, panulat na parang na-discuss ko na to sa part 1. Mm, parang na-discuss ko na nga, pero hindi ako sigurado. Si Mariano Ponce ay may pro ay, pro ay propagandistang may saninag na sagisag na panulat na Balang. Ito ay isang mahabang tulang pang-awit bilang handog sa isang dalagang may kaarawan. Kilala rin ito sa katagalugan dahil sa pagpuputong ng koronang bulaklak sa dalaga. So ano kaya ito? Hmm, ano kaya ito? So we have here si Nakolo, uh, Corido or Corido. Ang panunuluyan and panunubong. So, discuss muna natin isa-isa kasi hindi naman tayo lahat familiar sa mga yan. Pag sinabi natin si Nakulo or sa English, yung passion play. So, isa, isa tong dula. Yan, siyempre tungkol sa buhay, pagpapasakit, kamatayan, at muling pagkabuhay ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. So, ito ay isa sa mga tradisyon talaga tuwing Semana Santa ng mga Kristiyano or um, particular, ito nakalagay naman dito, particularly sa mga katoliko. So, basta pag narinig nyo yung salitang sinakulo, so ito lang yung nagsasalaysay ng buhay ni Jesus. So, korido. Pag sinabi naman natin korido, ito isang pop uh, popular na salaysay ng awit at panulaan ng isang uri ng balad. Isang uri din ito ng panitikang Pilipino na nakuha ang influensya mula sa mga Espanyol. So, ito ay may sukat na walong pantig, bawat linya at may apat 
na linya sa isang saknong. So, parang siyang tula. Pero paawit yung kanyang pagsasalaysay. So, ito ay kordo. Next, ang panunuluyan. So, ang panunuluyan naman ay isang tradisyon ng mga kristyanong Pilipino. So, isinasadula nito ang ano, mahirap na paglalakbay ni San Jose at Virgen Maria mula sa Nazaret patungong Bethlehem. So, ito na yung panahon na saan? Nung si Jesus ay isisila. So, ang tawag doon, panunuluyan. Um, yung kanilang paglalakbay simula sa Nazaret tapos pumunta silang Bethlehem hanggang sa mapa, uh, mapa nganak na ni Maria si Jesus. So ang tawag doon ay panunuyan. At last is pang panubong. Pag sinabi natin panubong, so handog sa dalagang may kaarawan, koronang bulaklak. So, sa ating tanong na ito ay isang mahabang tulang ang awit bilang handog sa isang dalagang may kaarawan Kilala rin ito sa katagalugan dahil sa pagpuputong ng koronang bulaklak sa dalaga. Ang tamang sagot ay panubong. Tandaan nyo lang ha, pag nakita nyo salitang panubong, koronang bulaklak. Yun, ox na yun. So next, ang may akda ng kauna-aun na aklat na nilimbag sa Pilipinas, yan, alam ko na alam na alam nyo to. So, sino-sino sa ating apat na choices? Si Denueva ba? Si Di Castro ba? Si Bustamante ba? O si Gomez? Ang sumulat ng kauna-unahang akda sa Pilipinas, which is the Doctrina Cristiana. So, sino? Right. Si Father Domingo de Nieva. Next. With the Batasang Pambanta, Performing Legislative and Executive Powers, In the Marcos regime, Marcos regime to ha, which form of government was implemented? O oh, guys, pag sinabi natin Marcos regime, hmm, ano yan? Diktatorial na ba agad? Ipapasok? Hindi. So, sa choices natin na monarchial, parliamentary, presidential, dictatorial, alin ba? Basahin muna natin to para mas hinaw. So, did the Philippines experience a parliamentary form of government? The answer is yes. The final draft was adopted, adopted by the Convention on November 29, 1972. This was ratified and proclaimed by President Marcos on January 17, 1973 amidst widespread protests. And controversy. So, with the proclamation of the new constitution, the presidential form of government was changed to modified parliamentary form. So, nung panahon pala natin, nung Marcos regime, parliamentary pala ang form of government natin. Ayan, so makikita nyo Marcos presidential term from December 30 to 1965 to February 25, 1986. So, sa mga panahon na yan, uh, hindi, hindi siya totally naging diktatorian. Hindi naman sinabi natin na pag sinabi natin Marcos and Chikad, ang una natin isipin is diktatorial siya. Huwag ganun. Okay? So, kailangan muna natin isipin. Ha? Kung, o kailangan muna natin na basahin mabuti yung question. At the same time, yung mga choices. Ako ang ginawa ko, ito lang ha. Ako ang ginawa ko nung nag-board exam ako. Ayan. So, nag, ang ginawa ko nun kasi is tatlong beses kong binabasa yung questions ng paulit-ulit. Tatlong beses yan. Hanggang sa maintindihan ko siya ng maintindihan ng maintindihan. Tapos, ang ginagawa ko, yung mga choices na tinatanggal ko or iniisip ko ba na okay, related ba or angkop ba yung choices let yung choice yung letter A dun sa question, yung letter B dun sa question, yung letter C dun sa question, ganun. So pag hindi ini-exam ko siya. So kung ano yung matera siya, siya hindi na ko akong sagot. Syempre, minsan naman alam ko na yung sagot, so automatic na pero hindi pa rin agad-agad kasi tayo mga Pilipino, meron tayong ugaling ganun eh. Pag nabasa mo na yung tanong tapos automatic alam mo yung sagot, nagsi-shade na agad. Huwag ganun. So, basahin mo muna ulit. 
pag ganun minsan alam ko na yung sagot, binabasa ko ng mga dalawa pa rin, hanggang tatlo. Kasi gusto ko makasigurado. Kasi actually, teachers, ha, nakailang take ako bago ako makapasa. Pero, sobrang sarap ng pakaramdam ko itong nakapasa ko. Kasi talaga dati, yung first take ko na sobrang nakapag- sobrang nakapag- uh, low moral sa akin, share ko lang guys, para ma-motivate kayo, is, ano siya, ang nakuha ko is 74, 74.68, as in, 74.68, so umiyak talaga ako doon. So after nun, parang nawala na akong ganang kumuha ng board exam, and, nung kumuha ko ng board exam, nakapasa ako. Sobrang taas, guys, promise, high rater ako. So, huwag sinasabi ko lang sa inyo, isa to sa mga naging key ko. Naging key para makapasa ako. So, ay, carnival yan, sorry. Hindi lang siya bumaba, hindi lang bumaba yung star. So, ang sagot dyan is parliamentary. <clears throat> hindi lang bumaba yung star natin. Minsan yung, minsan nag-o-auto yung star, eh, may sarili. To make your first uh, presentation readable, select images that will blank text on the page. So, napakadali nitong question na to. Mm-hmm. Yes, the correct answer is match. Very good. Madali lang yan. Kaya alam kong mag- mabilis lang para sa inyong sagutin. Ayan. So, what are the greatest lyric poems in the literature of the word? So, ano daw ang lyric? A greatest lyric poem. So, we have here the power of music, some of praises, and some of King David. So, alin. Right. Letter C. A letter C siya. Sorry, letter C. Some of King David. Nakatingin kasi ako kay King David. Eh. So, next. All right angels are? Ano yan? Equal. Napakadali ng question natin ito. So next, which of the following when proceed causes action on a reaction? Ayan. Pag daw may action yung reaction. Siyempre, pag may action, automatic ang kasi mag-reaction. Anong tawag doon? Ha? Yan. The correct answer is stimulus. Kasi ang stimulus is ko um can cause or nagre-respond siya sa isang action. For example, um uh, usually at ito yung alam ko, meron na tong explanation sa ating nung nag-aaral tayo, di ba? So pag set for example natin dito ha. So for, uh, like ringing your alarm clock, yan kapag natutulog ka. So di ba automatic yun, ang reaction natin is patayin siya agad o kaya bumangon tayo, gumising tayo. Pag sobrang importante, automatic yung patawa natin, tatayo na, ay, kailangan ko nang umalis importante yung lakad ko sa araw na to. So, yun. So, stimulus is word often used in biology. So, something that causes a reaction in, uh, a, um, causes, that causes a reaction. So, ayan. Stimulus. Next. In connection with the government transaction involving Um, public interest, which policy is adopted by the Constitution to assure the public of accountability and transparency? So, in this question, teachers, anihin nyo to, um, i-highlight nyo or tandaan nyo yung Constitution to assure the public of accountability and transparency. Doon pa lang makikita nyo na kung ano yung tama. Uh, Doon pa lang dapat sa choices natin, makikita nyo na kung anong dami. So, so, we have here rural development and agrarian reform, private enterprise and incentives to needed investment, full public disclosure, and balance and healthful ecolo- um, ecology. So, the correct answer is full public disclosure. So, what is full public disclosure bill? Yan. So, it is the government's policy that requires certain local officials of provinces, cities, and municipalities to fully disclose particular financial transaction of the LGU 
to keep their constituents informed of how the LGU budget is managed, disturbed, and used. So, ito yung, uh, yung mga nasa government natin, mga government officials natin, kailangan nilang ipakita yung pinak kung saan nila ginamit, kung, saan, kung paano nila binanage, kung paano nila na-distribute yung local budget. Yan, pa, sa mga constituents sa atin, sa ating mamaya. So, yun ang tinatawag natin full public disclosure bill. Next, of the following organism, which are uh, included under kingdom plantae. Plantae, plantae. Yan. So, we have here fungi, magnolidae, sorry, magno magnoliaidae magnoliaidae pala yan magnoliaidae prokaryotes and protozoa generic ko yung sarili ko so ano yan yan pag sinabi natin pag sinabi natin fungi or fungus so it's any member of the group of eukaryotic organism that includes microorganisms such as yeast and molds as well as more familiar in mushrooms. So, hindi yan. X yan. Prokaryotes. Pag sinabi natin, prokaryotes, single-celled organism that lacks a nucleus. So, di ba pag sinabi natin nucleus, siya yung pinakang, ano? Ay, hindi na alam. Biology to. And other membrane-bound organelles. Ano? Pag sinabi natin nucleus, nasa cell yan. Biology. Mm-hmm. Protozoa. So, pag sinabi natin protozoa, protozoa are group of single-celled eukaryotes, either free-living or parasitic, that feed on organic matter, such as other microorganisms or organic tissues and debris. So, last one is the magnoliaidae or magnolids are clade of flowering plants with more than 10,000. Species. Pag sinabi naman natin itong clients, so group of organisms believe to have evolved from common ancestors. Ayan, magnoliaidae. Nung nambasa ko dito talaga magnoliaidae. Oo, oh, di ba? Mali pala. So it's, ano kung narinig ko yun eh dati sa one of my professors magnoliaidae. So parang hindi ako convinced. So na-research ko siya. So magnoliaidae pa na siya. So again, sa question natin of the following organism, which are they included under Kingdom Plantae, is the correct answer is Magnoliaidae. Next, which of the following is a vitamin? Napakadali ng question na ito. So ayan, niacin. Niacin, mucin, or pepsin. Niacin. Pag sinabi natin niacin, a water-soluble vitamin belonging to the vitamin B family. Next, which of the following activities help reduce water pollution? Ayan, based on sa ating mga choices, use of soap and detergents, desalination of seawater, to pot uh, potable water. Pag sinabi natin from seawater to potable water, so ito yung, yung seawater, gagawin natin malinis sa tubig. So, possible siyang ilumin. Yun. Setting of flood control system or treating waste uh, treating waste water <clears throat> prior to discharge. Hmm. Yan. The correct answer is letter D. So, treating water waste prior, uh, treating wastewater prior to discharge. So, yan yun. So, this is, uh, ano yan, so, uh, balikan muna natin, ha? Explain ko muna. So, dito sa treating water, treating wastewater prior to discharge. So, most water waste kasi are required to be discharged to sanitary sewer Yan. So, pollutants can be removed by the POTW or yung mas kilala natin um, acronym yun eh, POTW. So, Publicly Owned Treatment Works. Ayan. 
prior to discharge to the surface water. So, treatment to it. Yan pa. Um, treating waste water prior to discharge. Um, natatandaan ko kasi, parang naano ko to sa isa sa mga seminars or yun sa Facebook na lumalabas. Nagpa-follow kasi ako sa DNR na na uh, Facebook page. So, parang dinascuss nila to. One of their webinars there. Yung pinupost nila. Meron kasi sila eh, parang monthly ayun lumalabas. Meron sila na discuss nila ito yung how to reduce water pollution. So next, yan. So which of the following process best explains the evolution of life or gradual transformation of species? Guys, evolution of life, yan, transformation or gradual transformation. So based sa ating um, choices, we have new combination of genes, Natural selection, isolation, genetic drift. Napakadali nito. Ayan, process. Process. Best explain that evolution of life or gradual transformation. So, alin ba dito? Pag nakita nyo agad yung evolution of life and gradual transformation. Transformation of species. Evolution of life is species. Siyempre, ang tamang sagot siya, natural selection. Natural yun yung species, yung evolution of life. Yes, yeah, hindi naman pwedeng controlling yan. Diba? Hindi ka naman pwedeng mag new combination of genes yan. Evolution of life yan. Diba? So, next. What is the pressure exerting on plasma membrane against the cell wall of bacteria, fungi, and plant cells? So, we have here osmotic pressure, wall pressure, turgor pressure, or plasma Pressure. Pressure. Hmm. So the correct answer is turgor pressure. Um, turgor pressure. So, um, bigi ko na lang kayo na example ng turgor pressure para mas mabilis nyo maintindihan. For example, yung sa lobo, yan, sa lobo, pag yung lobo, nilagyan nyo ng maraming tool. Diba pag nilagyan nyo ng, ng, ng tubig, yung lobo, nag -e expand siya. Yan, yung um, ine-exert, yung pressure na ine-exert, pag habang nilalagyan nyo siya ng water, dun sa pinakang lobo, dun sa wall, isipin nyo yung pinakang lobo is sa wall. Yung pag-exert -e ng pressure niya, ang tao, yun yung parang katulad sa turgor pressure. Yung nag -e -exert, uh, exerted against the wall. So, yung pressure ng water habang dumadami siya, nag-e-expand yung lobo. So, ga, parang ganun siya. Nag-gets nyo ba yung explanation ng balloon? So, habang nagsiswell siya, habang dumadami yung water draws, habang dumadami yung water sa loob, yung pressure niya, nag-e-exert. Diba? Lumalawak na lumalawak, lumaki, lumalaki na lumalaki yung balloons. So, next, which organism is an example of fungus? So, we have here algae, yes, bacteria. So, the correct answer is yes. So, yes is a fungus that grows as a single cell. So, next, which of the following is an organism that feeds on necrotic and decaying matter? So, we have vulture, yeast, algae, or bacteria. Alin dito? Decaying matter, necrotic, organism that feeds on necrotic and decaying matter. Yun lang ang keyword natin, vulture. Next, the asexual reproduction which occurs when a new organism develops from an outgrowth is called, we have here fission, budding, sorry, fission, budding, tama, fertilization, and grafting. So, budding and tamang sagot. <clears throat> Explain na muna natin. So, we have here binary fission. So, it's a form of asexual reproduction in which an organism divides into two, each party carrying one copy of genetic material. So, hanati lang sa so pareho yung 
pahinating part, eh, meron siyang uh, carrying one genetic material. So, next we have here fertilization. Alam naman natin na hindi ito a sex. Well, this is a sexual reproduction. So, process of reproduction occurs in very short time. The organism multiplies and grow rapidly. The offspring is genetically similar. So, fertilization. Grafting. Pag sinabi natin, grafting um, is an artificial method of asexual reproduction used to produce plants combining favorable stems characteristic with favorable roots characteristics. So, grafting. So, pinagkukunban mo yung um, plant na merong same characteristic. So, we have last one is budding. So, it's an asexual reproduction method in which a new organism develops from a bud of an existing organism. So, pag, ayan, di ba sinabi kanina, develop from outgrowth. Yan, pag sinabi kasi natin outgrowth, growth out of something else. Yun. Hmm. Nabu, uh, kumbaga, ano tawag nito, um, nade-develop, nade-develop yung isang bud sa paniba, um, a new organism develop from a bud of an existing organism. So, that's the answer. The answer is body. So, what is the maximum number of electron, uh, sorry, electrons that can occupy a P orbital? Hmm. Pag-research na to, the correct answer is 6. Pag nakita nyo lang yung P, od, um, P or, orbital, sorry, P orbital, 6 ang sagot dyan. Next, uh, next, self-evaluation can be done in various ways. Keyword, self-evaluation. So, but this is not one of them. Guys, ito lang, ha? remind ko lang po. Usually kasi, ito ang karamihan ha. Magbibigay ako nito, probably sa part 3 natin ng general education. Yung mga question na maraming not, kasi ito yung nakakalito talaga. Ito yung nakakalito, promise, sa let examination. Kasi minsan, alam mo na yung sagot, tapos makikita mo yung not. So, yun, yun nga sabi ko kanina, meron tayo, meron ugali tayong mga Pilipino, pag alam natin yung sagot, sinishade na gada natin. ba So, na, minsan, na-overlook natin yung not, o kaya, <clears throat> yung hindi alin ang hindi kasama dito, or alin yung mali, ganun. So, kaya nga sabi ko sa inyo, babasahin niyo yung question, kahit alam niyo na yung sagot, babasahin niyo pa rin yung question, dalawang beses hanggang tatlong beses. Pero huwag naman katagalan kasi syempre may oras pa kayo. So again, self-evaluation ang clue natin dito. Not. So we have here peer feedback session, written reflection, self-videotape of class performance, use an evaluation instrument. So self can evol self-evaluation can be done in various ways. So alin yung hindi? Syempre yung letter A. Peer. Peer feedback session. Kaya nga sabi ko sa inyo kanina, di ba? Ang keyword natin dyan ay self-evaluation. Next, we have what is the basis for classifying plants based on phylogenetic consideration? Yan, meron, may, um, the, the choices are natural composition, physical composition, structural similarities, and uh, evolutionary sequence. So, philo, sorry, classifying plants based on phylogenetic consideration. So, we have here the correct answer, natural composition. So, pag nabasa niyo agad yung phylogenetic, yeah. So, tingnan niyo agad. Tapos, basa, syempre, basahin niyo muna. Binibigay ko lang sa inyo yung mga keywords para mas madali niyong matandaan. Um, mas madali niyong matandaan yung mga question. Maging familiar tayo lagi questions. And of course, choices. Kasi ang PRC, minsan, ko ano yung tamang sagot, ginagawa nilang question. Ganon. So, binabaliktad nila. Kaya, be careful, teachers. Next, which uh, protest can cause dysentery? <coughs> so, pag sinabi natin dysentery, yan yung infection, in, uh, in, intense, uh, 
intestine. Sorry, mabubulun na ako. Infection in intense, uh, intestine that cause bloody diarrhea. So, saan niya nakukuha? So, we have here Gorilla Beringay, Plasmodule Vivox, and Samoyba Histolytica. So, alin dyan? So, bigay natin, ha? Letter A. Uh, a letter C. So, amibiasis. Yun pala yun eh. Pag sinabi natin disentrid, yung bloody diarrhea, nagkukos siya ng amibiasis. So, pag nakita nyo yan, yung, ang tawag nito? Um, itong word na entamoyba, histolytica, amibiasis yan. Wait lang. Tapos, ito namang Gorilla Beringay, yan ay, uh, wait lang, ano nga ba yan yan? Isang uwi siya ng endangered gorilla. Endangered species ng gorilla. Yan. From eastern ata siya, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, from eastern ata siya, if I'm not mistaken. Tapos ito namang Plasmomodium Vivox. Um, nagkukos siya ng, kung ba letter M2 eh, uh, malaria. Yan, nagkukos siya ng malaria. So, yan ang tawag, yan ang um, tawag sa malaria. Tandaan nyo ha, itong letter A, indigenous species yan, na gorilla. Yan, si Gori. Tapos, yung letter B is malaria. Tapos, yung letter C is amelia. Next, the bond in sodium fluoride in is which of the following types of chemical bonds? So, we have here halogen, alkaline metals, so we have earth, alkaline earth metals. Yan. The correct answer is letter A, halogen. Ito ang hirap, um, totoo lang, honestly, ha, guys. Ang hi ito ang hirap sa science. Uh, yung mga terms niya. Sobrang hirap ng mga terms niya. Tsaka yung mga, uh, ang dami. Yung terms niya yun, may ibig sabihin pa, um, i-research mo talaga siya. So, ako ang ginagawa ko before mag-take ako ng exam. Tinatandaan ko yung question nga. Right. Itong question na to, tinatanda ko, sodium fluoride, chemical bond. So, yun. Magkatalting yan. Yung sodium fluoride, ha, chemical bond. So, ang sagot, halogen. So, ganun yung ginagawa ko. Para mas mabilis kong ma-recognize yung question. Tsaka yung tamang sagot pag nabasa ko siya sa let exam. Okay, next. Which two chemical factors cause this uh, decomposition? So we have here purification and restoration, auto autolysis and photosynthesis, death and cellular respiration, autolysis and putrefication. So alin dito? Which one? Okay, ko na. The correct answer is letter D, autolysis and purification. So, yan yung tamang sagot. <clears throat> Next. So, which condition contradicts the social justice mandate in the 1987 Constitution? So, we have here creation of economic opportunities for all, sense of uh, dependency among citizens, Elimination of cultural inequalities and last, equitable distribution of wealth. Yan. So, pag ganito, tinatandaan ko yung 1987 Constitution. So, basta tinis niya sabi sa inyo, di ba? Hindi nyo kailangan i-memorize lahat. Kailangan nyo lang maging familiarize. So, kung yun nga yung sinasabi ko, kinukuha ko yung mga keyword. Yan. Kinukuha ko yung mga keywords sa question. Tapos nilalagyan ko ng arrow. Tapos ito yung sagot. Para at least, pag nabasa ko siya, familiar ako. Mas mabilis para sa akin gawin yung process of elimination. So for this one, 1987 Constitution. So yan yung kukunin kong um, pwede kong sa yung social justice mandate. Ganyan. Tapos 1987 Constitution. So, the correct answer is letter B, sense of dependency among citizens. So, nilalagay ko yan sa tapat. Arrow-arrow yan. Uh, arrow ha, arrow, arrow guys. May arrow yan. Para alam ko kung ano 
yung tamang sagot. Familiar ako. So, binabasa ko yan. Paulit-ulit. So, next. The sum, total, uh, the sum total of person's effort to cope with stressful situation in life is called? Yan. Tinitingo person, tapos stressful situation. Ano? Sige, that's the keyword person. Person's effort. Person's to ko, bahala kayo. Pero ako kasi person's lang eh. Person, tapos stressful uh, situation in life. Or stressful situation. So, ano? Reaction ba siya? Anger? Defense mechanism? Or emotion? Tandaan nyo guys, may cope oh. The word cope. Yan. So, the correct answer is defense mechanism. Ay yung word na cope. Person efforts to cope. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, depende sa inyo kung paano niyan. Ayusin pa rin yung sulat na person effort to cope. Arrow. Stressful situation. Arrow. Defense mechanism. So, at least yun, pag nabasa nyo yan, alam nyo na. Mapapamilyar na kayo. Next. Alin sa mga sumusunod ang mga salitang nakapag-iisa at may kahulugan? So, yan. Salitang nakapag-isa, nakapag-iisa nakapag at may kahulugan, ang tamang sagot is more pema. And ano? <clears throat> so as of now, it, this is the general education questions muna na pwede kong share sa inyo. So part three natin, um probably like yung mas maraming na not dito, mga hindi tama, hindi kasali, ayan. Kasi yun yung nakakalito sa general education. Well, sa lahat naman, even sa prof ed, lalo lalo sa major ship. Um, may nakaready na rin ako na next natin is Rizal's life and works. Yan. Kay Rizal, lahat ng questions tungkol kay Rizal at magtatako din tayo ng tungkol kay Rizal. Then, uh, so na this economics, economics, vocabularies, and then pupunta na tayo sa um, last one ng general education, yung part 4 natin. Then, proceed na tayo ng professional education. So, by the way, guys, na pala, other, um, other channels kasi na nagaganto. Puntahan nyo rin, ha? Tapos, manood din Kasi may kanya-kanyang strategies na tinuturo. Ako, katulad din sinabi kasi nyo, ganun yung ginawa ko. So, puntahan nyo din sila. Tapos, e-check nyo rin yung mga, mas mara, e-check nyo rin yung mga questions nila. Mas, mas maganda, mas maganda, guys, na marami kayong makukomplete or makakalap na questions para yun yun yung babasahin ninyo. And by the way, nagpo-provide din nga pala ako ng majorship. So, may mga ilan-ilan akong major na isasama dito. So, syempre, tapusin nyo natin yung holiday. Pero magpo-post-post pa rin naman ako. So, TLA Filipino, English, mostly English, and then, yun, um, science meron din. So, Yun muna, thank you so much and goodbye everyone.